Hi everybody, this is Sherry. I'm back from the doctors and the only good part of going to the doctors is that it gets me out of my little teeny town and occasionally I get to stop by a couple stores and today I stopped at Big Lots and Walmart so I wanted to share with you um, the few things I got. Um, I got some of the bubble envelope things and I know that's nothing fancy but they were really cheap. There's two in a pack of this size which is six by nine and they were a dollar and the eight and a half by eleven two in a pack were I think it was a dollar fifty. So I thought that was a really good price and uh, so I grabbed some of those. They had um, Collarbock and it's just the well there's some well it's not what I thought it was at all <laughs> it's accent punch outs I thought it was solid solid colored cardstock in these colors so oh well I've got some accent punch outs and I got them for three dollars for an eight and a half by eleven five hundred and forty five accents in five colors so I don't know why I would want black waves, but apparently now I have black waves. I thought these were browns and tans, and I thought, oh, these will be perfect for teddy bears. Wrong, because they're the wrong thing. So we'll just act like I didn't make that mistake. Um, they had some glitter paper, and the glitter paper was 50 cents a pack. So I got a couple of the purples. Now this is going to be like, I'm going to try to block the glare. The um, silver metallic paper, I could only find I think one pack of it and it was 50 cents. So I was real happy with that. I had been seeing everybody decorate real pretty gift bags and I found these ones. It doesn't say what uh, size they are but there's a real bright pink. Uh, orange, yellow, or purple, excuse me, a light pink, a light blue, and like a neon green or yellow. I'm not sure what that color is. And they were $2 for the six bags, so I thought that was a good price. Then I've got quite a bit of this. I didn't, my daughter wanted some, and it's the cork paper and it's adhesive. So I'm looking forward, and it's thin, so I'm looking forward to cutting some with my dies. And it was two dollars a pack and there's two huge um, night well eight by ten sheets eight and eight point three by ten point eight inch sheets so it's kind of weird size sheets but um, that's um, what we got there and my daughter and I are splitting those and then we've got some more of the glitter paper and I would have swore these ones were blue in the store but now I think I got a bunch of the same color I thought I got some blues and some purples and some pinks but apparently I got a whole bunch of blue and a couple pinks and again 50 cents a pack for the 12 by 12 packages of glitter papers and I believe this was three dollars and it's basil um, premium cardstock and it says it's core dyed textured cardstock and what I like about it I'm not usually a big fan of the textured cardstock but some of the textures were really unique they're not what you're used to seeing some are striped some are like bubbled um, just really neat so I, I thought that was a good deal and for three dollars for the pack of 12 by 12 I thought that was awesome I did pick up some plastic containers that I was able to um, put my all of my six by six I got two of them and all of my six by six pads and six and a half by six and a half inch pads fit in them with the lid so it'll keep the dust off of them and everything so I was happy about that and then I went to Walmart and I went back and there was nothing on their shelves and I was like are you all 
you know, clearing out to put new stuff out. I said, where's everything at? And the lady's like, oh, are you looking for the Martha Stewart, you know, punches? And I was like, well, you know, I was just kind of going to look for your punches. And um, I said, nothing in particular. And she said, oh, they're back. We're clearancing them out. And they're back in the this section over there by the milk where all they had all their clearance stuff. And so I, like... My, my wheelchair will go four and a half miles an hour. I was going four and a half miles an hour through their store, zipping back to the clearance section because the lady said they had punches on clearance. And I'm like, yes, I needed more punches, definitely. I mean, it was, you know, something desperate. It was a desperate need. My foot, it was a desperate need. You guys saw my video. But I got... Um, a curve grip exacto craft knife because mine's stinky and that one was on clearance for a dollar fifty two dollars for the zig two-way glue pens and those are the roller ones I got two of them I don't know where the other one is right at the moment and um, which I don't have any of the roller ones I have the chisel tip but I didn't have any of the roller ones so that was cool I got this punch that ha does the little circles on the edge, and I got it for $6, and it's an EK6S punch. I got an other, another pair of tweezers, EK6S tweezers, um, because I'm constantly concerned that I'm going to lose the pair I have because I use them a lot, and I only have the one pair, and it, I know that if they were to come up missing, that you know I don't get to go to craft stores very very often you know only a couple times a year so I would have either had to order them online and paid for shipping or something so I found them for 450 and I snagged another pair and those are EK success ones and I did pick up a new pair of scissors um, they have like a mega sharp uh, tip so I was real happy with with those and plus they're pink so I love them. Danae, can you please grab call daddy back? Sorry guys, the dog barking thingy is my my husband's uh ringtone. And I've never done an ATC card and they had four different kinds of them. One was like watercolor and things. I got this kind because it said it was for ink. Um, what did it say? I don't remember, but it said it was for ink and collaring. So I picked up two packs of these and they were a dollar fifty a pack. And I grabbed, I know, I needed more beads too. I grabbed a couple sets of beads. I wanted to make another pair of uh, shoeless flip flops. And I got these pink. Uh, seed beads to go in between to kind of make all of this stretch a little. Then I picked up I don't know what floral lace uh, border punch by Martha Stewart for six dollars. And then I got the scallop dot um, border punch for six dollars. I got the um, it says frond is the name of it. It's just the leaf punch by Martha Stewart. And uh, it was only $4.50. And I also picked up the doily lace punch. And um, I have this one, but it's one of the older ones where the sides don't flip out. And it's really, really hard to punch, so I'm hoping because I love the way this looks that it will um, be easier to do and I got it on clearance for six dollars and then I found my other pen there and that's everything I got so if you have a Walmart you might want to check and see um, what they have on clearance and see if there's anything good left there and they they had the snowflake one and the fleur-de-lis punch but I don't really do the Fleur de Lee thing and I have several snowflake punches so I didn't really need those and uh, 
and I'm really hoping that this or, this newer model of hers will be easier to punch than the old one I have and you know I'll check it out if it's the same then you know I'll pass it on to somebody else who doesn't have this one so that's what I got I hope you like it if you get a chance call your Walmart see if they've got any of this on clearance because my actual Walmart here where I live doesn't have any of this this was the Walmart in the town where I had to go to the doctors so if you know check it out see what they got I'm a happy camper thanks for visiting me today guys and happy crafting bye